Hey y'all, happy Saturday. I hope y'all had a great week and I hope you're enjoying your weekend so far. Ah, oh, it's the freaking weekend, baby. Guess what? I'm gonna have me some fun. No, I'm not. I'm gonna clean these bathrooms because they're disgusting. You should see the toilet. The toilet's horrible. Mm. Anyway, so yeah, this is our master bathroom slash main bathroom that everyone uses, including our guests when they come over. It was pretty bad. A lot of dust on the sink. Um, our shower floor, again, is gray, tinged, because whatever my husband does at work, it tints our shower floor gray. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. But anyway, our toilet was pretty bad, too. Actually, it was really bad. I've been slacking on the toilet. Uh, I, that's another thing I don't like doing is cleaning toilets, but it it's got to be done. Um, school has already started. We're in our second week of school. And I don't know. We haven't gotten into a really good routine yet. Once we get into a good routine, then I will start adding on chores to the board again. And our house and our bathrooms won't be as bad as they have been being. Because it's just been me cleaning. So, yeah. Anyway, that's enough talking for me. Let's get into this video. We're going to be working on both of the bathrooms today, and I'm going to be cooking some dinner at the end of this video. I hope y'all stick around. As you can see me spraying some Clorox in our shower, it was not Clorox bleach. It didn't have any bleach in it and it did not take that gray tinge off of the bottom of our shower floor. So our shower floor is still gray. I don't know. I'm just going to have to pour some straight bleach in there and bleach it back white. No biggie though. So with school being in, being like second week of school and everything, how's everyone doing? Have you gotten into a really good routine yet? Have you, are you still struggling? I mean, what, what's going on? What, what is your mind thinking? What are you, what are you like mentally? I think a lot of people forget to ask the moms or dads too, um, how they feel, <laughs> especially when school starts. I mean, the kids are going to the school and learning and everything, but it's still hard for us parents too, right? Because we're having to get up and take them and make sure everything is in order. Everybody has everything. And I know first couple of days of school, it's like paperwork galore. Now they're doing that QR code stuff on Google Classroom and Remind app and a uh, whole bunch of stuff and especially when you have four kids and three of those kids are in middle school and each middle schooler has seven different teachers and yeah that's that's a lot that's a lot for someone so how are you how are you mentally
So for me, mentally, um, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, and that's an okay answer. If, if you don't know how you feel, that's okay. So for me, I guess I say I don't know, but I guess it's, I'm at home by myself now, you know, throughout the day. I don't have anyone here to talk to. I really don't have that many friends that I reach out to and talk to on a daily basis. So, I mean, it's just like isolation, the seclusion, the being alone stuff. And then when your your spouse gets home, your kids get home, they've had a full day dealing with all sorts of things. And then when they come home, they just want to relax and chill out and have quiet time and you're just like busting at the seams to like talk to somebody and then I don't know it's an emotional roller coaster I guess you could say but yeah I was telling my husband one time I was like I wished I had a friend that would come over to my house every single day sit on the couch and we would just talk for hours and hours and hours on end and then we would go our separate ways but we would still be in touch and it is really hard for me to find that in someone other than my spouse, obviously. So, I don't know. It's always been hard for me to make friends. And if you suffer from that, I, I understand, you know. I mean, it's, it's difficult sometimes when you're a loner. So, yeah. I guess YouTube is in that sense. I, I guess I could make YouTube, you guys, on the other end of YouTube, my best friend. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can sit on the couch. I can do voiceovers on my videos. I can talk to YouTube, you guys, on the other side of YouTube. So, you are my friend, essentially. While putting this mop head on this pole thing, I really thought I had broke my mop. So you'll eventually see me. I'll fool with it a little bit. 
and then you'll see me start mopping with it and it's like really short but I don't know what I don't know what I did I don't know it popped really loud and then it wouldn't tighten up the handle wouldn't tighten up or something I don't know I really thought I broke it and then when I started mopping um it I don't know it fixed itself or something I don't know anyway watch me struggle So to mop the floors, I used a mixture of rubbing alcohol, Dawn dish detergent, pine salt, and water in that spray bottle. And then I also had the mop bucket off to the side full of just plain hot water. Um, I would spray the spray on the floor, mop it really good, and then uh, dump the mop. Jesus. Dump. Put. Put. Put the mop. Put the mop in the water and then mop up I don't know what I'm trying to say anyway I mop the floors I you breathe that healthy breath I know it's all of you that I get One bedroom flat I lock the door And put that photo of her on the floor Been here for hours It's getting dark And we did everything and nothing at all And I should leave Cause this is bad Your hands make up for the love we don't have Now we're in the kids bathroom and we're going to clean it up really good. I'm going to let y'all know my poor son, he's in a house full of girls and he has to share this bathroom with three of those girls and it's always a mess. Like there's always hair products all over the place, hair bows, hair brushes, makeup, body spray. I mean, there's all kind of extra stuff. And I thought girls was supposed to be like the most organized ones, the most clean ones. But I guess it's, I guess it's the person. But my son, my son is very organized. He's very, he's a very clean person. But them girls, oh Lord, them girls.
You'll see me open up their window in a few minutes, and I did this in both bathrooms because spraying that Clorox spray was very strong, and you definitely don't want to be in a small space with um, Clorox spray going everywhere. It can burn your lungs. So in both bathrooms, I did open up their the windows to vent out the bathroom really good. I would what I did was I sprayed everything down really good and then I waited for like 10 to 15 minutes before going back in there just to give enough time to air out. So you'll see me using rags to clean stuff, the toilet, the bathtub, the sink, and everything like that. I use different rags, don't worry, but I'm using rags because I ran out of um, wipes. I ran out of those Clorox wipes, so I have to go get some more.
Now that we're done with the bathrooms, it is time to cook dinner. Yes, I did wash my hands. Don't worry. So this night we had chicken alfredo fettuccine. Chicken fettuccine alfredo, alfredo chicken. Anyway, ch whatever. Chicken with fettuccine noodles. There you go. And store brand um, alfredo sauce. So all I did was cut my chicken up into bite-sized pieces, put it in the pan, cooked it until it was brown and then uh, I put seasoned salt garlic powder an onion powder in there and cooked it up and then I put the alfredo sauce in there mixed it up really good I also put um, a pot of water on boil so I could boil the fettuccine noodles we also had breadsticks with it and uh, a salad I did decide to add spinach because I like spinach in mine and this is fresh spinach this the bundle of fresh spinach was cheaper it was like a dollar 49 a bundle compared to a bag of spinach leaves that was like almost four dollars so I grabbed two bundles of the spinach I put some in the chicken alfredo and then I saved some for our salad because I love baby spinach it is my fave Cause hard is too hard to predict you should admit Slowly things will come around I'm still waiting for you to say it, say it Do you know what I see? I see myself cry And say you won't be, say you won't be mad say you, you know what I feel? Say you I'm sick of all your lies say Just it, say you say want it. me Say you want me Sleep. 
y'all oh my gosh y'all know what i forgot drop a purple heart down in the comments i totally forgot about it i got so wrapped up in doing this video or this voiceover oh my gosh anyway if you've made it this far in the video drop a purple heart down in the comments also if you haven't already hit the subscribe button hit the like button that really helps out my videos and share this video with your mom and them okay share it with your mom and them they might like it you never know anyway i appreciate y'all appreciate y'all hanging out with me today and yeah so i hope you enjoyed today's video i will see you wednesday remember new schedule um nothing too majorly different for sure a video on every single saturday um but now i'm also posting every wednesday at four o'clock in the evening so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i'll see y'all wednesday bye Are you? Are you my conscience?